Welcome to the 2020 Keeper of the Chains Disc Golf Tournament. We have lead card coverage of the front nine, sponsored by Innova Disc Golf, coming right at you. I'm in the booth here with my friend Logan Harpool. Logan, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to watching some disc golf. Awesome. Let's jump into the action here. Leading off the card, we have Logan Harpool, um, 16 under through two rounds, sitting in first place. Coming in in second place at 14 under par, the kid, Nolan Ramser, shooting a blazing 1,041 rated second round. And last but certainly not least, the man that really needs no introduction, Ron Converse, coming in in third place, nine under. Leading group for the 2020 Keeper of the Chains, the MPO group is gonna be led off today by Logan Harpool. So I'm gonna get us started here on hole one. It's it's kind of a left to right mover. You can throw the straight shot. Um, you're gonna see us taking some kind of hyzer angle. And That's a felon in your hand, is that right? That is a felon. We've got some dead grass. I'm playing a little skip and that's bullseye. Dream start right Next there. Next on the box, Nolan Ramser. Woo. We'll see this disc a lot from Nolan. Uh, he is a disc craft sponsored player. That's a machete. You get some good action on that, and it punches yeah. right through the trees. Good. Ten feet for his birdie. And finishing off the lead group from Blackwell, Oklahoma, Ron and Converse. Last on the box is Ron. Uh, Ron and I are both repping Team Dynamic Discs. And uh, this Captain America disc, not too terribly sure what it is. It's going to be kind of overstable, though. He's playing this flex line a little high. And anything that hits those trees is pretty good. He's going to have a look. He just clips that second tree. We'll have a look outside circle, maybe just at 30, and just misses, chains out right. When Nolan and Logan will tap in for their birdies. And Ron will take a three. And then moving into hole number two, really you just want to be out of the opening. It's a low ceiling, tight gap. Anything out is good. I'm ripping on Defender here, and I'm I'm fine with that. Just need a little skip. Caught a late tree, but I'm I'm real happy with that. And Nolan following a similar line, a little bit tighter here on the inside, but he will also have a look for two. And Ron, with an early release, catches that tree. You'll see a lot of discs that will filter into the left here, and that's not a great spot to be. Ron will be left scrambling. This is where you see experience coming into play. That is not an easy shot. And that angle, you can see he got to the middle of the fairway. That is a phenomenal out from where he was. That is so tough to do. And he'll have a look from circle two edge here. He just hyzered out a little early. Logan from outside circle one. Makes good on a 40-foot birdie putt there. Off to a hot start. Let's see it again. That's a that's a nice way to start your round. That felt good. And Nolan cleans up with a birdie as well. Hot start for the two of you. Um, Ron will have this short look for his bogey, and he'll take a four. And a, a four from where he was is nothing to scoff at. That's as good as he could have done right hole three is playing as an island right around 300 feet this is a harp for me flipping it up and mine's that inside 10 feet about as good as i could have done it this is challenger os from nolan and i thought his line was good i thought his power was good it just had a little bit too much height and this will actually leak OB out of the back of the island green. So Nolan will have to advance to the drop zone, which will have about an 80 foot look at the hole. And here's trusty suspect from Ron. Perfect. Putting it right at the pin. And Nolan will not be laying this up. He gives it a good look <laughs> and just hyzers out a couple feet in front of the pin. I thought it was in. I think we all did. So Nolan will take a four, and Ron and Logan will finish with twos on to hole number four. 
you need something that kind of flips up to flat late and I didn't do that I threw this flat right off the bat He's no hyzer and a little too much turn and that'll put you in a difficult spot to to save your two yeah Ron's gonna show you the way here though that's perfect beautiful line from Ron and that will put him seven feet from the pin <laughs> this is not an easy hole and Ron's making it look pretty easy so good Nolan doing the same a little higher a little faster gets by that big tree watch this kick oh. almost grabs metal <laughs> the crowd loved it he thought he had something too oh yeah yeah so he you're had, at about 40 feet maybe I had a bunch of stuff in your way I had an alley to run it it just wasn't smart at this point playing with a lead and I'm just kind of trying to put it close it's a safe par I could see me running that and hitting something right in front of me and having the same look over so So moving on to hole five, anything out of the gap here is good. Uh, you're going to see all three of us trying to skip something left, but it's a tight gap and it's a little ways off the tee. Uh, this is a, a really early run enforcer for Ron. Pretty overstable. Hits the gap dead center. And he'll skip into a little alley here, and he'll have a little circle's edge putt for birdie. Can't complain with a clean look on this hole, and that's exactly what he's got. And Nolan, with an early release, kicks right. He'll have a tough shot from there. This is anvil for me. A little earlier than I would have liked, but I'm out. I'm happy with it. And you'll have about a circle's edge putt. Yeah, just about. For birdie as well. Nolan forced to throw forehand roller here, hoping to cut through some trees. And he'll do some damage. He'll have about a 30-foot putt here. A big hyzer putt is what he's looking at. It's advantageous because that's his normal putting stroke. Just glides off the top of the cage and barely sits in bounds. I was kind of tied up there. Probably could have had a better effort than that. but Ron from 35 feet. Yeah. Bounces off the top of the cage and into the basket. Great birdie from Ron there. That was a ways out too. That was close to circle's edge, if not outside circle one. Confident comeback putt from the kid. We'll see that all day, man. He doesn't back off those putts. Those are pro D challengers, and he makes them go in the basket. He doesn't hope they go in. On to beautiful hole six here. Um, really the play is to throw up and around these two guardian trees on the left side and advance to kind of a landing zone up the fairway where you'll have about a 200 foot approach. Um, not a lot of people birdieing hole six. You guys are ripping some pure hyzer shots that'll, that'll put you in a good spot. Yeah, pretty routine this first shot. The second shot's where you make your money on this hole. Uh, you can certainly get into trouble off the tee, but we're all throwing high and kind of taking those trees out of play to a landing zone. Nolan ripping this backhand. The crowd loves it. There you go, baby. There you go. Good recovery. It'll be in a great attack spot. So now we've got to get something around this corner. Ron didn't like that out of his hand either. But that has some good ground action and will put him... At about 10 feet. Yeah, it's just fine. Back to my trusty anvil. Big skip and a little bid there almost. <laughs> Six feet, good height. That'll give you an easy birdie. Back to Challenger OS for Nolan. Pretty good. up some pars here on to hole seven 
Full 7 has a unique opportunity to throw a big flex forehand that will hopefully punch in to a pretty protected green. Um, you'll see Ron with a little bit too much turn there. And you'll punch one in here, hitting a tree early, but we'll put you at about circle's edge for a birdie putt. Yeah, you'd like it lower, but anything that crashes up there will have a look. And that just is a little bit early for Nolan. This is a such a tough spot. It may not look like it, but this is very, very tough for Nolan here. And that shot is tracking. I think that's as good as he could have thrown it from where he was and just barely nicked a tree. And Ron also has a difficult backhand up shot here, getting cheeky and punching it through a gap that nobody seemed to see in the trees, putting it inside seven feet. Nolan here from Circle's Edge to save par. Hits second tree there. He's not happy about it. And you'll have a Circle's Edge putt here for birdie. Maybe a little inside. Center cage. Beautiful. That's always a good birdie to get. Hole seven is not an easy hole to two. And yeah. Nolan will take a four. And Ron will salvage a good three there as well. Hole eight, you can see the basket on the, the right side of your screen here. Way down there, it's a long way. Um, I'm going to try to throw something up the gap as far as I can. But it comes out a little bit early. Um, really didn't hit anything, so I still got some good distance, but I'm in a pretty tough spot from there. Ron, this is a, a Fusion Raider. Wanting to play that turnover line. and There was some sneaky headwind that we weren't feeling, and that just it turned it a little too quick. Got to the ground, so he's right around in the area mine wound up. Same thing for Nolan. Great line. And he'll get some cut roll on this. Needs to sit. And it will end up sneaking, curling up inbounds. That's a difficult shot from where you're at. <laughs> I didn't like that. I took so long to try to line that up and decide what I wanted to do, and I didn't do it. So. And Nolan in the same area code as you. And that sidewalk was safe. We're playing the road OB. And it's tough to see from this angle, but that actually hit on the grass, skidded, and barely kind of draped itself over the curb. So he is unfortunately... So he was out of bounds, and he'll have a comeback putt for his four. And Ron taking the local route here, doing the road skip. Um, pretty popular play, actually, from that spot, and he crushes that right inside five feet. Great shot. You have 40 to 50 feet here. Yeah, that's just fluffed. Uh, <laughs> no excuse. Take your time, folks. You got 30 seconds. Use all of them. Don't rush it. Take your time, kids. Let's see if Nolan takes his time here. He's lining this one up from about circle's edge and bounces that one in. Oh, yeah. Great par save. That putting style is deadly from anywhere. Very direct. We're uh, sharing a laugh about something. Having fun. Both these guys are a lot of fun to play with, and even though this is a final round of a tournament and it's a close race, they're still fun to be around. I'm sure you heard some of that on the camera. Yep. Hole nine. Um, sealing the entire way to the pin. Ron elects to throw a roller here. Takes a funny bounce initially, um, but he'll be in a great spot to attack his second shot out over the road. I'm trying to get to that exact spot uh, with an air shot. This is early. There's a lot worse mistakes to make. I'm going to be all right where I'm at, but Ron is in the ideal spot. So you'll probably have to throw a forehand of tight um, to get to the pin while Ron will have a pretty routine backhand approach there. So Nolan's going to try to execute the shot that I did I just missed this is a force and he pushed just a bit nose up and we'll get up into the first available tree and we'll drop down 
he did have a decent look from there. Um, big skips. Some good ground play. He'll have about a circle's edge putt for his three. So you are throwing forehand here. Mm -hmm. And left a little to be desired there. You'll have about a 40-footer. And I did not expect... I saw Ron lining up over the road, but I didn't expect him to go high. Big spike, and that comes down in a great spot. So good. Here's Nolan from Circle's Edge. He just made a good putt on the last hole, so he's feeling good. As he should be. Nolan's hot from Circle's Edge right now. That's a good birdie for him. I'm just a little bit inside where he was. Center cage. And that feels good after that. Weird little fluff on the last hole. And Ron loves it too. Good birdies here from the card. Not an easy hole to three. Especially not from an optimal tee shot. But. So hole 10 is, I believe this is the first par five, correct? Correct. And the closer you get to the pin, Ron's going roller, he's right in the middle. That's uh, <laughs> that's kind of all you, all you can do off the tee. Anything more than that is certainly a bonus. Mine's low. Um, but the closer you get to the pin, the less real estate you have to work with. It really bottlenecks hard. And it's kind of a pizza slice green, and we're going from the fat end to the skinny end. So Right, so this second shot forces players to make a decision how much they really want to bite off. Yep. And you will put that up by the middle pin and have about 50 to 60 for your third shot. Yeah, anything more than that. Going after this green from back there is very, very scary. You have a chance to cross... Uh, but it's so hard to get something to stick. But shout out to Kevin Arndt with the only eagle of the day on this hole, taking the three. Card right ahead of us. We heard some cheers. Big three for him. And this shot, this was wonderful out of his hand. But what we couldn't feel or see from where we was, where we were, was as soon as you get up to the sidewalk, there's a big old headwind coming at us. Right. And you that's felt the, it up here, huh? That's the only reason why that didn't get back in. It was a fine shot. So Ron will be OB from the sidewalk, and we'll pitch it up to about 12 feet. Yeah, I've got no desire to run that. As close as that OB is on both sides, even that roll kind of scared me. Yeah, you did a little double take there. Both giving it a, maybe a, maybe a half run. Not so much Nolan, but... <laughs> and Ron with a good par. You and Nolan will both take fours. Moving on to the water holes on the back nine of Oak Park. This is a tricky slanted green. Um, really likes to filter discs down towards the river um, and can turn a five footer into a to a thirty footer real quick. Nolan catches some shrubs, but we'll have a circle's edge putt for his birdie as well. Ron's not scared of that sidewalk. It, it's pretty bumpy. There's some cracks that you can catch and not get back in bounds, but he pulls it off. Nolan with a long birdie look and just doesn't quite get it high enough. I'm trying to go to school on his and aim at the top, and you can see I wanted that to be higher. <laughs> I know exactly what I need to do, just didn't do it. And Ron from a knee from... 20 feet for a great birdie. Oh, yeah. Is that veteran putting being displayed? Definitely. Bringing himself more level with the basket. Never a doubt. Very consistent. So, hole 12. Again, that river is still on the left. Ron's opting for the right gap. And that's pretty darn good. Very hard to park this pin, but he's going to be up there with a some kind of a jumper. 
I actually put backhand back in my bag and opted for the forehand to not go OB left. A big skip up this hill. Oh, and she's rolling. And that sits down on the sidewalk, which plays as OB. So you'll have to make do with with a putt for for three from about 40 to 50 feet. Yeah, I Downhill, tricky putt. I couldn't believe that. That's not the OB I was worried about. It, I knew it rolled or something. That covered some real estate. Yeah. Nolan with a power forehand. And just catches the last tree that he needed to beat. That was tracking towards the pin. He'll have a difficult stance here for his second shot. About 70 from the pin. And uses those rocks as a great backstop. That's a great shot. And I'm... We had a little discussion about where we thought it rolled. We knew it rolled, but wanted to try to get it as accurate as we could. I opted to not take my meter so that I could still see the basket. Um, but, And that's just an awkward up-to-down putt. The basket's somewhat below where your feet are where you're putting that, so that's a difficult run. Yeah, any kind of cage hit or anything like that, and you could easily roll all the way to the river. So mm -hmm. take your medicine, and, and we move on. Ron, did we see his second shot? We might have missed it. Yeah, um, that, that was a three for Ron. But Ron did take a three, right? Hole 13, the play is a kind of a, a straight shot that's going to hyzer at the end up above the sidewalk. And Ron just needs this to get a little bit stable. And that is yeah. a beauty. That's perfect. Ron will have a circle's edge putt there for his two. Nolan throwing something quite a bit more overstable here, and he doesn't like it, but when this lands, it matches the slope of the hill perfect. And that'll roll down, or glide down rather, to right about where Ron is um, for his second shot as well. Oof. And you're hitting your second, your second tree that's hanging down pretty low there. First, you need to have a flick approach that'll put you at about 20 feet. Yeah, this one hurts to miss. This is one that us locals we love to attack. It's one of the more fun holes and just left it a little bit high. Ron from 25. Just a little high, bounces off the top of the basket. So Nolan with an opportunity here to get another stroke on me. And, and he does it. slowly sneaking up on you. He is, and, and I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Um, I'm watching scores. I never used to watch scores, but with that live scoring from the PDGA, I'm I'm tracking people, keeping tabs on them, and I'm well aware that he's hot right now. So with five holes left, Nolan is four back. And I'll tap out there for par. Coming into hole 14, this is the second par five of the day. And if you need to know how to play this hole, watch Nolan's drive here. All of 500 feet with a ceiling. Ron leaks this a little high, and he'll hyzer her out. <laughs> he'll, he'll be all right from there. There's a lot worse places to be. I'm going Lucid Sergeant trying to follow Nolan, and I don't quite get as far. It's, I don't know that many people could get as far as he did, but I'm That's still a good shot. I'm happy with that. Now, yep. this shot here takes guts. Hanging out over the road, which plays as OB, he trusts the stability and gets it back in bounds. And he'll have about a circle's edge putt. It'll be tricky around that tree, but he'll have a look, which is a great save from where he was at. And that's way early for me. I do not like that. This is one I wanted to put on the dirt around the basket, and I didn't do it. This is another one of those upshots where the closer you get to the pin, the skinnier the green gets. So especially throwing from 200 feet can cause anxiety. Ron from a knee around the tree center. And that's, a, that's another veteran eagle for Ron. Let's see that again. Yeah, that's huge. Great second shot and a phenomenal putt. And uh, 
that felt fine. Uh, in hindsight, you know, we're a couple days removed from the tournament, and mm -hmm. I'm someone that likes to go back and try to fix some mistakes. Uh, I'm just moving too quick, just rushing those a little bit, and that's what happens. They come out a little bit early, and yep. just got to take your time. You get 30 seconds, use them all. Now, enjoy this shot. So, folks, this is a buzz. <laughs> so no one throwing mid-range way down the fairway, holding its line the entire flight. And that's 450 with a mid-range from Nolan? That's crushed. That's a bomb from the kid. I believe that short pin is right around 430-ish, and he's pushing it. So I believe this is Raider from Ron. Hangs that out over the road a bit, trusting his disc. And that'll be in a great spot to attack. So uh, I'm not calling showtime here, but I honestly feel like this is the more predictable route. And uh, it's more inside than I want. I don't like it out of my hand, but also kind of like with Nolan's on 13, if you land on that slope, it usually doesn't do anything too crazy. And closer to OB than I want, but <laughs> we're still good. Ron back to the suspect. And he's in a rhythm right now. That is a great up from Ron. Back nine, he's got a clean card so far. <laughs> That's a, uh, when you're throwing flex shots, just get around what you need to get around. There's no advantage to hugging it really tight. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I tried to do. Get a little greedy. Machete from Nolan. Oh, and that rolls down these famous Oak Park slanted greens and he'll have a 25 footer. I'm back to the anvil. <laughs> Trying to save that four at this point. And it's, it's hard to tell on camera how much those tr limbs are really in Nolan's way, but they're really messing with him here. And he just chains out left there. Very awkward. Kind of tied him up. Great three from Ron there. And so I am carrying a three-stroke lead, assuming I can make this, into hole 16. Um, Nolan with an opportunity to cut it to two there, and as we said, was tied up by those branches in hole 16. Uh, it's one that Ron and I both missed in the first round, so I mm. really want to get this. Play is a big hyzer out to the right and play a spike. Um, there's OB left, and Ron is going to do fine. He's a little bit short but he's going to have a look. And so Nolan with Nuko S. He absolutely parked this in round one. He likes this out of the hand and just hits that guardian tree and actually drops him in the pond. So Nolan throwing OB, which is huge. And I tell myself at this point, this is for the tournament. You can lock it with a birdie here almost. And puts that in circle, a huge Boy, drive from Logan. He'll have a chance to secure the title. And no one upset with that run. That's about all he can do from there, though. Making it from there would be incredible. <laughs> Ron almost cashing that in. So uh, the job's certainly not done. This is a scary putt especially after the last couple holes for me. Puts yeah. that center. Huge putt mm -hmm. to get a two-point swing on Nolan. So that'll give you a nice, comfortable cushion going into hole 17. Crazier things have happened, though. Oh, yeah. Certainly not over. And hole 17 is no gimme. It's a, it's a long, tight tunnel off the tee. It's going to open up, and we actually have to navigate to the other side of the hill later. So this is get through the gap, and we'll worry about the next shot next. And that's it's piped. It's about as good as I wanted to do it right there. And Ron told me he wanted this to stick on top, which would be ideal, and he almost pulls it off. Roll down the back side of that hill there, and he'll have a blind upshot. Oh, just smashing. This is also crushed. 
getting the full oh, flight of the disc on that slant as much as you can. Oh, yeah. This is a somewhat tricky position for Ron. Can't see the basket. Great shot. Everything about that shot was awesome. The yeah. height, the angle, everything. Yeah, he controlled that landing so softly. Mm -hmm. Puts him in 20 feet. Another blind up shot here. And that'll roll a bit down the hill, but you'll have about a 25 footer. The gallery likes this, but it actually does roll down quite a bit. So Nolan will be outside circle here from about 40 feet. And this is big. <laughs> and he airballs right and was not happy about that. About a 20 footer. Yeah. And that just chains out left for you as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm frustrated with that one. You know, I want to stay on the gas pedal. I know I have a five stroke lead, but I'm certainly not trying to miss putts. Um, <laughs> probably just a little loss of focus there, but I got a history of putting on slopes and it's not good. So it's. <laughs> You know, there's still weaknesses we need to iron out. There's plenty of them, so back to the drawing board. So Nolan and Ron will be entering hole 18 tied at 18 under. And that's a phenomenal three for Ron. He made that look really easy. All right. So beautiful hole 18 with this reflective pond. The basket's up on that that ledge on the left side, guarded by a rock wall. Speed control is very important, and this looks good. Oh, just missed six feet right. The gallery thought he had it. I thought he had it. Good line from Ron. I'm going stiletto here, hoping for a good spike. And that smacks down and doesn't move an inch. Yeah, spike and a little break dance. <laughs> Nolan, same thing. This is a very routine oh, yeah. shot. Woo! These were three runs from three veteran players here, all inside circle. And Ron with a really scary putt to tie for second place. Ne and he grabs it. Never a doubt. Ice in his veins. Ron Converse. And Nolan will tap out to tie him at 19 under. And for the title, the 2020 Keeper of the Chains, champion Logan Harpool. Congrats, man. Thanks, man. It feels good. Ladies and gentlemen, Logan Harpool. So finishing out the round, Logan takes the title at 24 under. Nolan and Ron agree to tie at 19 down. Kevin Arndt at 11 under. Shane Chrysler at two over and Keenan Ford at five over. Thank you again to Innova Disc Golf, Ducks Flying Discs, Air Capital Disc Golf, Paragon Disc Golf, Grip, So Mint Disc Golf, and Quick Sticks for sponsoring this tournament. See you next time.